Welcome, I'm Tony Paikaday, Senior Director of Product Marketing with NVIDIA, and I'm here at Gartner IOCS, and I'm especially excited to be joined by Doug O'Flaherty with IBM. Doug, welcome. Tony, it's great to be here as always. It's good to see you. Yeah, likewise. You know, our companies have been working together for years, doing some incredible work to democratize AI infrastructure, have, helping businesses everywhere um, infuse their business with AI. You know, what excites you most about our partnership and our capabilities brought together? Well, especially this year when we're here at Gartner, there's three things that come to mind for me. One of them is the way we have worked together to make it easier for organizations to scale how they work. We've done a bunch of reference architectures, we've made some things happen. The other thing that we've done has been to make it easier for IT leaders to adopt this by putting together really prescriptive best practices from, from end to end and enabling our business partner channel to really know how to get it out there. That's been really cool. And the third thing is the thing I always get super jazzed about, which is so much leading at technology. Faster systems, uh, the new H100 releases, uh, the stuff with GPU direct storage, just all the cool stuff. I really like that. Yeah, you know, there's so much going on. And everything you just described aligns so well with what I think attendees have been hearing at the keynote, mm. especially around the importance of engineering the right platform, full stack architectures, uh, lower no-code environments that ease developer productivity and streamline success, um, as well as even like sustainability and um, you know optimizing for cost, energy efficiency, delivering performance. Uh, you know what, from the IBM perspective, what's most exciting for you guys in terms of what attendees here need to hear? Well, the attendees here have definitely been talking about those needs to give everybody access to data. One of the things out of the keynote I really liked was the democratization of IT because that is the organizational change that we're trying to bring to AI insights. Data from lots of different places, an IBM global platform is how we, we refer to it, in a way that allows all the departments to have insight to make the most use of those DGX systems that they have. The type of work that they're able to extract, not just in terms of traditional imaging or, or, or transforms, but even right now we're doing some really cool stuff with you guys on data analytics and high performance Spark in real time. Those kind of access to data is huge. And the green aspect of it, I love it. Um, it's personal for me, but it's also a really big part of our product line right now. Our 2U box is really dense, really fast, and really cost efficient and really power efficient. Hmm. It's a great solution. So, you know, we're here almost uh, 2023, mm -hmm. and uh, I think a lot of IT leaders are thinking about how to enable their teams and their business units for success with AI. And so, you know, certainly from the NVIDIA perspective, as I look at where AI is driving customers, certainly we're seeing the rise of large language models, recommender systems. I think a lot of organizations are doubling down on things that improve customer experiences, streamline supply chains, uh, improve clinical outcomes. So certainly the work IBM and NVIDIA are doing together is core and foundational to enabling that kind of success next year. But what do you want IT leaders as they're hearing this to be thinking about as we move into the next year? Uh, you know, I really like this perspective of 2022 to 2023. I mean, you guys have done a lot of very cool things in digital twins, omniverse, visualization, and then all of that work that we've done and installed together on like modern transforms and thesis. But the IT departments really are going to have to step up their game. We've talked a lot over this last year about how to build an AI center of excellence. We're getting data scientists and data analytics teams, I've got some really great meetings coming up still on with those kind of people to understand how their data storage can support those missions. We still need to bring the IT department up to understand how they have to support that AI center of excellence and the infrastructure. That's more on IBM to help you guys support that story as you guys are talking about it. The second is scale. Um, you were talking about the greening and the, and the situations of that removing data copies, being more efficient, the amount of volume of data, data economics, really that is the traditional role of IT. As we scale these AI centers of excellence up, they've, they've got a lot of work to do. So those are the two biggest things that I'm thinking about coming out of this conference for the IT leaders. I think that's a fantastic blueprint for success for our customers to be hearing about moving into the next year. Doug, I want to thank you so much for the partnership and for what's ahead. It's always great to see you, Tony. Thank you very much. Likewise, thank you.